Salutations! Mm, ah, sorry, Zoe. Can I help you? Get the usual. Alrighty then! like conjured mana buns in the morning. Greetings, let's jump into this cooking review. Drop three quarters cup warm milk into a large bowl. Add one half cup brown sugar. One tablespoon instant yeast. I grabbed my teaspoon for some reason, so I grabbed the right spoon. Half cup melted butter. One egg. Half teaspoon salt. And four and a half cups of flour, but I am adding two cups of flour first, then slowly adding half cups as it combines until there's a workable dough. As a workable dough, flour a working surface and roll out the dough. Knead it around for five minutes or until the dough bounces back when poked. Place it into a grease bowl, lay a towel over it, and allow it to rise for one hour. Combine the following into a small bowl. Half cup finely chopped nuts. The recipe calls for walnuts. I had pecans on hand. Two teaspoons flour. Two tablespoons brown sugar. Two tablespoons cinnamon. Four tablespoons softened butter. I used a spatula to cut the butter, but swapped it to a pastry blender soon after, which made it much easier to work. After an hour, the dough should rise to double, unless your kitchen is freezing like mine was yesterday. I tried to, I tried a few things to warm it up, but couldn't get more expansion. Nonetheless, it still worked. I floured a working service, rolled out the dough into a rectangle as best I could. Dump the filling onto the dough and spread it around evenly and leave one side empty. Also, the filling was troublesome due to the kitchen coolness. Roll the dough from one side to the other and churn it. Then slice it up. Place individual pieces into muffin tins that have been greased down with butter or ham. The recipe will accommodate approximately two dozen. Now, into a 350 degree oven, allow them to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Onto the stovetop, using a small saucepan, place a half a cup of heavy cream and one cup of brown sugar. I only did like half a cup, which brought out the, the cream flavoring. And don't forget the one tablespoon of butter. Mix it all up. Then add one tablespoon of flour. A wire whisk would be best for this mixing and allow the glaze to thicken. After that, pull it off the heat, add a dash of vanilla and mix it all in. Back to the table, I have my conjured mana buns plated, a little cooled and ready for storage, to which I pour the glaze over top of them. Next up is Herb Baked Egg. The author Chelsea Monroe Cassell recommends to have everything ready and laid out prior to beginning. And yes, things happen rather quickly. I'm preparing the recipe for one person, just double the amounts for additional people. In this orange bowl is a pinch of minced thyme, rosemary, parsley, salt and pepper, and one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. In another bowl, crack two eggs, 
The recipe does not scramble the eggs, but I only like scrambled. I'm using ramekin bowls to cook the mixture, which is placed on top of a small baking sheet. One tablespoon heavy cream and half a tablespoon of butter into the ramekin. Turn on your oven broiler to high. I place the bread on the baking sheet, the toast it. Once ready, place the bowl and pan into the oven. Cook for two or three minutes until bubbly. Pull out the oven rack and dump the eggs into the bowl and sprinkle the seasoning mixture over top. Place back into the oven and watch like a hawk for three to five minutes. What you'll be seeing is my second attempt at this. When my first attempt ran six or seven minutes, the egg had formed completely. This is supposed to be more of a creamy egg soup mixture. The author writes, I quote, When the whites of the eggs are just about cooked through, remove from the oven. Allow an additional minute to finish cooking. Now, there, this will be a very hot dish, so be sure to transfer the bowl to a heat-proof plate, oven mitt, or a trivet, and enjoy. Thank you for being with me today in this video. I hope you enjoyed the skit. I hope you enjoyed the food. Please leave a like, comment, and please subscribe for more videos such as this coming down the line. Thank you very much. Ciao.